Hey everyone, my name is Beach Oprah Wilson and here's another photo shoot breakdown. So for this photo shoot, I got to work with this amazing actress named Wanette. And for this photo shoot, we wanted to create some branding images for her acting and her branding portfolio. So using my Canon R5 Tether to Capture One, as I typically do that you guys can see in my behind the scenes video, we had so much fun during this photo shoot session. So for my lighting, you know, I decided to use the beauty dish. But the one thing that I decided to do differently is I actually added my diffuser. So usually with men, I would keep my beauty dish without a diffuser, but whenever I'm working with women, I always like to have the diffuser on it because I want that nice contrast, but I don't want it to be too starky, especially on their face. For my fill light, I had the octobank, and for my backlight, I had my two lights aimed into the V-flats bouncing just to create a nice even tone on the background. So as you guys can see in the behind the scenes video, sometimes I would actually add a reflector just if I want to add a nice catch light within the eyes. And the one thing that you guys can see is if I don't have an assistant, I always figure out different ways where I'm still able to use my reflector. And as you guys can see, I had my reflector clamped onto a chair and leaning onto a stool just to give me that nice angle and to create a nice fill light underneath her chin as well as within her eyes. And I actually want to show you guys the difference between using a gold reflector and a silver reflector. Obviously, none of them are wrong to use, but depending on what look you're going for, if you want your images to be more cool or you want the images to be more warm, you can make the decision based on that. So as you guys can see in these two images, this is when I use the gold reflector, this is when I use the silver reflector. And ultimately, I ended up using the gold reflector for this. So, so whenever you're shooting, don't think that you have to just focus on one lighting setup. If you guys want to experiment, if you guys want to add in anything, and if you want to shoot with the reflector, don't be afraid to use both sides just to figure out which one you actually like better. So I hope that this was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions and be on the lookout for the next video.